Hello, this is Cornerstones of Math and welcome to another video. Today we are going to calculate this limit, the limit of ln 1 plus x over x as x goes to infinity. Here we are going to calculate the limit without using L'Hopital's rule because that is way too savage for this video. Alright, let's do this. There may exist many ways to solve this problem. In this video, I will only show you the method that I have used. If you did it otherwise, please let me know. Now, recall that other than L'Hopital's rule, there exists another useful method in evaluating the limit, which is the squeeze theorem. Here it says x approaching a, but this so-called squeeze theorem also holds when a is infinity. But in order to use this theorem, we need an inequality. For example, if you compare the numerator and denominator, we can easily show that for every positive real number x, ln 1 plus x is greater than 0 and less than x, which is pretty obvious from the graphs, but we can also prove like this. Let function gx as x minus ln 1 plus x. Then the derivative g prime x is given as 1 minus 1 over 1 plus x, which is x over 1 plus x, which is positive when x is positive. Therefore, the function gx increases when x is positive. Moreover, we have g0 equals 0. This means that function gx is always positive when x is positive, and therefore this inequality holds. However, this inequality is not useful, since if we divide each side with x, which is a positive real number in this case, we only yield ln 1 plus x over x is greater than 0 and less than 1, in which the squeeze theorem is not applicable because the leftmost side and the rightmost side converge to different values. Therefore, we need a stronger condition than this. We must show that ln 1 plus x is less than a polynomial of degree less than 1. What I am going to do here is to prove that for when x is positive, ln 1 plus x is less than square root of x, which is less intuitive in terms of graphs than the previous one. To prove this, let function fx as square root of x minus ln 1 plus x. Then the derivative is given as 1 over 2 times square root of x minus 1 over 1 plus x, which is 1 plus x minus 2 square root of x over 2 times 1 plus x times square root of x. And if you look at the numerator right here, you will see that it is just 1 minus square root of x squared. Therefore, this derivative is positive or 0 when x is greater than 0, becoming 0 only at a finite number of points, which is x equals 1. Therefore, fx increases when x is positive. Moreover, we have f0 equals 0. This proves that fx is always positive when x is positive. Next, from this inequality which we have just proved, we divide by x, which is positive, so the inequality signs stay the same, and we have ln 1 plus x over x is greater than 0 and less than 1 over square root of x. And if we take the limit x approaching infinity, we know that this part goes to 0. Therefore, by the squeeze theorem, the value of this limit is 0. And that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons for more math videos. And I will see you in another video.